Hello, Jamal here, and welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. Impossible Army of Four achievement attempts. I say attempt because this is this is now, I believe, fourth or fifth of these attempts. Uh, we are not playing with the DLCs. That's uh, something that is different. This this is an honest Iron Man run. I'm not taking this one because we have faced some. Uh, really nasty glitches on both tactical and and uh, geoscape level so I'm not reloading under any circumstances unless the game breaks uh, we might reload for science but then we all always return back to the original save after that uh, on the second wave options we are going with not create equally hidden potential training roulette for fun fun um, diversity in the soldiers uh, new economy so that uh, money from the council members is random the greater good for making uh, getting psionics a little bit harder we need to interrogate a sectoid commander or ethereal for that and also if we ever get that far a psionic gift will be very rare because of more than human uh, also turning on total loss, so if someone dies, we lose all their gear. In uh, some of the previous attempts, I was keeping Red Fog on, but that just made things too difficult, because uh, getting damaged effectively mo removed that soldier from a fight. And with just four soldiers, because we are not getting the squad size increases in this run, it just proved to be, proved to be too hard. So let's go with those. I think the settings overall has been has been good. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, absolutely critical aiming angles are something some people really like. Uh, I like to play without them, and that's about it. Because uh, you can go either way with this. They they make things easier and harder. Uh, for me, somewhere in between, but I just don't like them. Anyway, let's go with that and let's watch the intro again. The best part of starting a new run. So learning from the previous runs, we will still, in a way, rush foundry and tactical rigging for many, many grenades. Uh, and we will start in Asia for that, so that we get that cheaper. Uh, the first month satellite rush, if we get engineers in time, is still a good approach because you can get four satellites up in the first month and that gives you money to go on. But then I think I need to shift into optimizing the science and research time so that we could have the beam weapons in the beginning of May. Because that's where we start to run into trouble. We get enemies with a lot of hit points like Grizzlets. Uh, we get enemies with a lot of hit points like Exalt and uh, not to mention mutons and such cyber discs so the lasers in may are crucial and even then that's just where the game gets really hard because you only have four guys but uh, let's try to break that wall of getting through the may and let's get pumped for that Hello, with the intro in light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Thank you very much. And just a second for you guys watching live. I will actually reset the queue. For the soldiers. Just a moment. Okay, 
so uh, as said, we will uh, start in Asia for this run, mainly to get tactical rigging for us uh, for the month of April. Uh, that's more or less the only reason. I think other other options are in many ways better than this one, especially since we are not getting the squad size squad size upgrade. So uh, obviously, training school roads are not that important for us. Uh, we are not getting the building itself for cheaper. So uh, I think Africa overall is still probably the best. Uh, North America saves a lot of money as well. With Europe, in theory, you could rush things a little bit differently. So I think that's an interesting option as well. And then uh, South America is, in a way, it's the best, uh, one of the best, but also the worst, because we can get it so easy in the game with just two satellites. But anyway, uh, Asia it is. And... Uh, Let's uh, let's see what the first mission brings Australia us. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should nice get to down see, there and nice to see new hostiles. names there in the chat and on the list. Welcome, guys. Let's uh, let's see if you get uh, picked in, and I hope you hope you enjoy the ride. But you. Whether you just lurk away usually, thanks for uh, thanks for joining the queue, guys. Okay, this map is pretty good. I like this for the initial missions. Or Strike any one. this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't any map chances. with a roof you can get into is great. Uh, in this one, the melt here is uh, is a tricky one. Uh, what I could do is put a couple of guys on the roof and try to go get the meld. Uh, it's a little bit of a trap where it is. This here is great cover, but I think we could go for it from the roof. And then maybe then try to try to take the meld. But uh, all in all, kind of any any map with walls, doors, roofs, things that you you can use to control. The lanes of engagement, uh, lines of sight, is uh, is fantastic. Let's see our starting starting four uh, plus five aim here, really good. Plus five aim, plus five will, really good. Uh, plus seven will, minus five aim and minus ten aim. Kind of averaging out. We don't have seventy five or eighty aim, which would have been great, but uh, a couple of seventies is. Uh, Already, Moving. already pretty good. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that early meld, so I think I will rush here a little bit. What we're looking for. And we are hiding, hiding from the lines of sight in there. And since I opted to go like this, um. Since I opted to go like this, I will take one soldier there to, uh, to support us. Uh, one will be behind this indestructible cover. Okay. So I'm I'm targeting that meld, but I'm also targeting targeting aliens, kind of possibly coming coming out in this area. Uh, it will take us a couple of couple of turns to get there. I could go one step forward now, but since uh, since we didn't activate anyone, let's take it easy here. Especially with a couple of guys dashing already. And uh, of course, the first mission, so we have three packs of sectoids, eight sectoids in total. Um, I'm on the move. We are at the edge of map here. Which is usually a good way to kind of go go forward. Uh, I would like to get that on the next turn, so that's why I'm going here, uh, which is a slightly hidden but hidden position from uh, from where we are. That's affirmative. And uh, let's go forward with you. We might. Oh, the other meld is there as well. Great. Moving. Okay, that move might have triggered something. Uh, it didn't, so that's good. Uh, I will, I will take this fellow. Affirmative. 
I will take this fellow together with the other kind of guy here, so we don't activate like something from this corner here by having one guy. One guy too close, okay. I, I messed up the... Messed up the... Lanes there. And these guys have a height bonus if something comes out like this. They didn't activate. You hear that? We can have an overwatch trap now for those guys. Uh, cause if I if I step in here, we would activate them. But I actually want not to activate them. Um, we might even activate them. This is a little tricky lines of sight for this uh, this lady here. Would really like to have those Overwatch shots on the on the aliens. Yeah, I think this is blocking the lines of sight. Uh, since you can get there next turn, we'll wait if we would kind of have them running here and get some shots in and get started like that instead of activating them now. Got it covered. I feel command got it covered. Got it covered. Because we got lucky like they were like half a dial away from us. We're witnessing something never before seen and and this is high advantage speaking, it gives us plus 20% on the shots. Ooh, that could have been a nice kill there, but unfortunately didn't get it. The other guys probably are not going to get shots on these guys. Uh, let's see. Next to a car. Uh, this guy is the tricky one. Moving to position. Visual on the goods. Yeah. The melt melt is always a trap. Kind of uh, should you even go for it? I probably could have avoided triggering those by coming here instead. But uh, again, this is the first mission, so things uh, things happen. Uh, I wish the aim of these guys was a little bit better. Okay, I like that sixty percenter. I will try to get that 55% kill in the back. Mm. Mm. We have a good shot on that guy, but they will be flanked, so they need to move. You... If we kill that guy somehow, you can stay there and you could be here shooting those guys when they come in and I kind of want to go in in a way that I can go to this door and shoot them from or even go inside and uh, shoot the mind merger next turn so ideally that guy dies ideally that guy cry they can come up from this one but uh, not next turn I think we can have a flanking shot on that guy, which is an interesting opportunity. It's only a 55 aim guy. Might be might be a great chance. That's affirmative. Great chance in here as they get a little bit of bonus for their shots. Nice. Got the, got the critical as well, so that helps us quite a bit. When the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Mm, this guy needs to die somehow, and it's getting trickier. We have a decent shot on it from, uh, from the top. I wonder if we have a decent shot from the full cover as well. Another option would be, to, would be to go closer and grenade. We grenade both of them. Probably can if we go closer. Okay, that's then what I do. Heading to that location. If Semal <laughs> if Semal says this is a good map, there's always a restart. Shit. <laughs> uh, let's hope not. Uh, like, 
I, I wouldn't go for the meld on this one if I wanted to play this safe, but since it is the first map, kind of, uh, I always take a little bit more chances because uh, that aggression usually usually pays off as well. Um, I would really like to kill these guys. So what I think I will do is... Um, they went quite far away. So they would have to get in here to, to flank me. I think they I think they still have that flanking shot. Got it covered. Okay, you see that guy. Mm. Do you have a grenade kill on this one? No, we just missed it. Yeah, this this was not really not really great. Let's have a kill on that guy. I kind of screwed up, and we didn't even get the fifty percent right here. Yeah, we uh, can't have to. I think that that guy needs to. Why did I do that? Why did I? I I completely forgot that side. Jesus. I, I forgot that this guy had not thrown the grenade. No, 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 I, I'm moving this guy. I'm moving that guy, that's why I was so... Uh, I still, uh, probably still should have done this grenade first. Uh, I think it's better for me... No, but that guy, that guy will now flank me. I, I messed up here, like, so stupid. That was so stupid, I should have done that and then take the shot. That was kind of my idea. Because what I was thinking is that I... One of us is flanked anyway if this guy doesn't die. So... So I need to need to leave this guy in place. So... One of us probably dies here. And... Uh, I could have, could have played this quite a bit better. Nice Dr. Ballin. That is good. That is really good. That guy just running away. It's probably an overwatch there in the back, but I was right. They didn't come here because they went so far away, so... Uh, the only the mistake was there taking the shot before the cover removal, which was my plan originally. But uh, we are in a decent spot against these guys. The downside is that there is uh, three aliens in the back. They are really far away, they are like all the way in there, and I can't can't easily get to them. Uh, that guy there is possibly on overwatch. Possibly on overwatch. So I think... I think I will just kill this guy. That's an interesting... <laughs> interesting grenade throw going... Going inside the building there. That might... That might... Might uh, get some aliens activated that were back there. Okay, so I think... You now have uh, more or less guaranteed shots. So let's take that. So those two now have kills. Aye, aye, Commander. If they opt to run from there, I would like to see them so that they don't flank yeah. her. So we have three aliens aye, aye. active. That's the one from the previous group. Let's hope we get a kill. Missed the target. Unfortunately not. That's dash move from that one. Oh, that might be a flanking shot. Flanks, 
Okay, so they, they did have the flanking shot I said they couldn't have, but uh, obviously, since they were right there. Although, yeah, well, I, this, is the, this is the thing that you, you still have a flanking shot even that you are stepping on, the, stepping on the side. Well, they are not dead if we somehow kill these ones and the last, last pack of two really, really fast, but we need to somehow do that without grenades. Mm. That's overwatch shot would have been, would have been brilliant. Headed there now. Mm. That guy, that guy can easily live and cause us trouble. Cause us trouble, can I? I can't go for like any sort of flanking, flanking moves on the guy behind the truck. I can make the car on fire, but if I go here, it can just change side flank me. If I go here, this guy would have to move and it can definitely do that. I don't really have good options here. I don't really have good options against that one. It is not great, and you you don't really have a good cover to go against them. You could go here and shoot that one. So you can probably be flanked from the other side. If you go here, that guy can shoot you. So you are a little bit out of this, which is not great. Yeah, simply running out of running out of grenades. Mm. The last back might be here, otherwise I could go for a flanking next turn. thinking here that do I need to do I need to hide but I think I will just go too aggressive here okay that's that seals the deal they were there and not in the backyard so whoever said that when I when I say that it's a good map and uh, it's a restart is probably right I was hoping they would have been in the back and not activate just yet Okay, so now now we are kind of well even more screwed than we were. Even more screwed. So uh, ow, they went like there. That is, that is even nastier. Because one of them will be like mind merging from here. Time. So we are basically hoping we survive all these all these shots that are coming our way. And and then we might have a chance next turn. Always nice to see a one hit point guy doing the mind merge. 
Okay, here comes uh, first attempt. Now we need to dodge one shot. They are not mind merging. Interesting. I was hoping they would, because then uh, I would have had a double kill here, but uh, they opted not to. They are all they are all next to a car. It's unfortunate that I don't have a uh, don't have a double grenade here. But uh, obviously, this is our move to kill the kill the mind merger. Mind merger, and then we have uh, then we have free to deal with. I don't think this car on fire does any damage even when it explodes. But there's two two aliens behind it. Two aliens behind it and uh, this one dashed. This one dashed, it has one hit points. So I think I I think I need to go and kill it now. I'm on it, Commander. Ninety-seven percenter. Kill confirmed. So are we still in time? Yeah, if we finish next turn, no one dies. So with that said, like going super aggressive here. Might not be the worst idea. Uh, take that one fifty percent shot and uh, have a. Ah, her aim is not the greatest. On the other hand, we are in good covers, good covers, and we can do the kills next turn. We can do the kills next turn, probably. Ten four. Probably killing a mind merger as well, so I think it's better to wait. Yep. Well, if this explosion does damage below, we are already done. <laughs> Survive this. Incoming fire. I think we got this. researching the newly recovered artifacts <laughs> immediately. We we had it anyway, but it's better that way. That's funnier. <laughs> we had a flanking shot on the mind merger, but uh, that was kind of my plan in the previous turn. That's why I set it on fire. So no one died, but uh, I think the... Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations. And I'm not sure if everyone got to kill. Situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger Let's issues see. at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting the for... The first missions are always so weird. Like, I'm not sure if I've had any, like, smooth first mission in, in any. There's always something weird happening. Oh, perfection. Perfection. And the wounded one was a support, so... Even better. Fantastic. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Uh, sadly, uh, the low aim, one of the lower aim was heavy. And I think the sniper uh, was the 55. No, the sniper was the 70 the aim at least, so that's good. Training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. We are not getting lucky with the hit points. The assault class serves as our front line. No one, no one got hit fight, points. And the last one's out. An assault starting at 55 aim is the worst, because together with the heavy, they get the least level ups in aim with hidden potential. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander to the research lab. 
but uh, it was perfect first mission, no one died. Uh, we got lucky with the bleed out there and dodged enough of those 35% shots. I think we took two or three. So as a first mission, that is a success. Got both meld, so can't ask anything more. It doesn't need to be pretty. It's the first mission. You can just restart. Uh, okay, but that is that is very good. That is very good. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Let's uh, say hi to Dr. Valen. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I, I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Good, good. Good, good. Uh, I think my first ones are still weapon control. fragments and experimental warfare for the foundry. And then we'll probably do meld and try to get a mech in April. That was working pretty well in one of the one of the runs. Um, so, uh, yeah. Commander, so. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but Every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. This team on <coughs> this team on the right hand side is in a good location. Uh, because I can build a power generator, power generator, and thermal, and they get adjacency bonuses. Uh, if I get all four satellites uplinks, this one is kind of in a wasted spot. Uh, but it's fine. Even, even just one, st one steam is good, and just having one excavation here and then having everything done is great. Uh, not having anything excavated on the second floor is not great for uh, speeding up things, but uh, we can we can manage that. Let's go to mission control, so they stop nagging us about it, and then let's name the soldiers. And uh, this time I decided I, I will name the initial four for the so-called old-timers list. So we have uh, Patreon backers and uh, people here in the Twitch chat that for some reason or another can't join the queue because of the bot denies them. Uh, some combination of uh, VIP, sub something causes that so anyway let's uh let's start from the support down here support here so the first one first one will be editor the sniper will be s -Lion. so i have randomized the list here and uh, heavy will be vipishan Uh, the salt will be homedicts. And then from the first rookies, the, we'll check the stats later. This first one will be Calcarian Mike. And this one will be Mickey. And then the remaining six will pull from the queue. So. If you are not there yet, join. It doesn't matter if you are there as the first or fourth hundred. So uh, let's pick three names first. So we have Grey Imp. Welcome. We have L Dots and we have A Shark. Some new names and some familiar names there. So Grey Imp coming in. I said we'll check the stats. Stats later. Eldorts. And we have a shark. 
and three more names. Urchi, Atimokari. And the last one. Last one, two. Last one goes to Beast. Okay, let's check the rookie stats. So from the initial four, we got Heritor as support. They were the 70 aim rookie. They got plus two on their aim. They lost a little bit of will because they bled out. Uh, they didn't get a hit point uh, as on their level up. Sniper got plus 4 on their aim. They didn't get a hit point. Will 84. Uh, 80, 48. Uh, Vipishan with heavy, no increase in their aim. Uh, no hit points. Decent will. But uh, they are shooting rockets anyway, so it doesn't matter. And Homeric was the 55 aim rookie. Got plus 3, no hit points. So kind of unlucky with the level ups. Not greatest in the stats, but let's see how the rookies look like. So Calgarian Mike comes up with almost max stats. 59.80 would be the maximum. This is what we want to see. So Mike is Mike is going into the next mission and will probably be the first to die. If things go as before. Mickey with exactly average stats. Not good, not terrible. Graeme Imp with great, great will. Uh, average aim, once again, that's pretty good. Uh, L dots with great will, minus 5 on aim. E shark with maximum will and plus 5 aim. So they they locked out in the stats as well, so they volunteer to die first. Birchy with good will, minus 5 aim. Really good build, uh, rookies this time. Uh, Mahti Mokari, sadly. Low will, minus 5 on the aim, and beast with great will, minus 5 on aim. So not the greatest bunch of rookies. Uh, 170 and 180 aim. Apart from that, great wills across the board. But not that great aim-wise. But two great rookies is better than zero great rookies. So we are, we are fine with all of that. Uh, we are already doing what we need to do here. So now, if we get the first abduction before the 7th, um, we will pick engineers. If it, for some reason, goes beyond that, we will immediately get scientists to get, uh, get the science going. I think it is more likely to get that before the 7th, but uh, you never know what happens. We might even get the council mission as the first one. Interestingly, no activity. Excavation still going. Excavation complete. Okay, looks like we will not be satellite rushing in this one, which I don't mind. Uh, I think overall it actually might be better strategy to get the get the scientists from the first mission. So with that happening. Uh, I could rush it even more by building a lab right away. Um, but on the other hand, if we are gonna get scientists, we probably want engineers second. Which means I need to save this money a little bit to have the foundry when we get up to that. So, but well, there's still time to get, uh, get the abduction or something here on the 7th, but looks like it's not happening. It happens on the 8th. We've picked up multiple requests for so, assistance. So, as said, abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Uh, because we can't, we can't satellite satellite rush here anymore. Because we can't get the workshop workshop running and can't get uh, can't get the workshop up in time. Um, we'll get the scientists, which means great things for the game in two months, because we will be much further ahead with research than I've been in the previous runs. So Nigeria it is, so that means Brazil will panic. 
which is fine. I usually want to set up a satellite in satellite at some point there anyway. But on the other hand, actually these countries will be the ones we will be losing. Because we are not going to get satellites up unless we get extremely lucky with, uh, with the rewards later. So we have five engineers, let's say the only only thing that could happen here would be to get a council mission with five engineer reward which is the rarest of them all but in theory in theory it can still happen anyway we'll worry about that later let's go with these guys hit it or home addict off the table and and Mike and Ishak coming in, and let's try to get uh, try to get some kills for the sniper. Uh, if we get them to free missions, okay, they already have four kills, which is great. If we get them to free missions and eight kills, that is a squad site right there. So two kills in the next two missions, and uh, we would have a squad site sniper already in March. So that's our goal. Um, I think that especially, especially now we still need the grenade. So uh, let's stick with it. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Listen up. We're going to okay. be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Alien I'm not gonna, activity continues to surge. I'm not going to say this is a great cities. map because um, is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Exalt butchered us in this map in one of the previous attempts. What I do like about this map is the gas bumps because whenever a sectoid hides behind them, is that is effectively a free kill for us. I also like how you can get to the roof and quite far uh, without exposing anything. But then, uh, then things get a little bit, a little bit tricky. So I think I want one of us inside. One of us inside, but I want my sniper, sniper to be there, there eventually. Uh, so let's go. He goes straight to there. Again, typically wouldn't wouldn't dash, but in this the roof is such that uh, you're not gonna expose expose your guys too much to anything. Mm, we might have aliens inside here, but usually they are usually they are there on the other side. I'm thinking, would I? But I keep the heavy here, like if they take position here, we would have rockets on them. The heavy could even come from this corner later. Or maybe, maybe be inside. Let's take two guys inside. Let's take that approach this time. Moving to position. Interesting door opening by not giving us anything. <laughs> anything on the inside. As far as vision goes. Just looking at the chat so I didn't see if we got indicator for the meld. I think we did. Uh, okay, I, I will just go in because this is weird that we didn't get any. I opened the door and didn't get any any reveal on the inside. I was like bucked out in there. I would like to take the sniper in position, but uh, might wait here a little bit. Ooh. 
Because of the co coffee machine, this is full cover. On my way. Or if that's a coffee machine. That is fantastic. That is great position for the... From here we can shoot if anything comes here. That is, uh, that is great. Uh, let's go here if this activates something. We are hidden. Okay. How I did not see them with the guys inside, I don't know. Uh, well, sure. Okay. They were exactly behind these ones. I, I went inside so that I would trigger anything behind, but they were in a perfect position of not being triggered. Uh, not being triggered, so... Interesting line of sight in there with 60% uh, What I could do here is throw a grenade on that gas pump and deal with this guy. Uh, since that guy sees me from there... Uh, I think this car, this car is in a way that, uh, as they are taking cover there, even that it's full cover, they can shoot over it, because the back is modeled, the way it's modeled. I don't really like that, so I would like to be, like to be protected. Um, obviously, we don't have, um, we don't have great shots here on anything. Uh, this guy is a little bit too close, because they can kind of just change cover here and have a flanking shot. So I think I need to kill this guy with even with double grenades. So, let's do that. At least, like, first, first remove its cover at the same time. Only 60 percenter. Uh, we'll probably be uh, shooting rockets in the near future. So I'll just get a kill on this guy with a grenade because it's in a dangerous position. Not ideal use of grenades, obviously. Like, super inefficient. But uh, it's, uh, it's fine. Okay, now the question is, can I throw a grenade from here to there? Or... Am I hidden from that guy if I go here? I think the answer is... Actually, as soon as I clicked, this was a dumb move. Because there might have been aliens here. But... Uh, this should make the gas tank explode immediately. And uh, get us a kill. And then this guy might run away, uh, but uh, at minimum they are not able to shoot these guys up on top. Let's see if they shoot the guys inside. How was that again? Okay, sure. Well, we were in. Okay. Sure. I, I give you that. You tried. Right, a little bit of a... Uh, we were definitely in full cover, so we had that going for us, but... For some reason, it didn't run away. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I think if I would go forward, I would, would have a 74% shot on it. Uh, this guy is the 80 aim guy. So, even through full cover, we have 60%, which I kind of like. And uh, we would be having a 30 percenter with you. You would probably have a good shot with a pistol if this connects. So you are in full cover. Let's shoot with you. This might already kill if we get really lucky. Okay, two damage is not great, but it's not bad either. Uh, you are the only one with grenade now, so that's that's not great. I think I can shoot you from here, but I'm not sure. If I can't, at least you can't be flanked. Okay, great. We have a chance here for 2 damage with 54%. It's 
should be ideal. No way that just happened. Oh, well, that was, was almost almost likely to happen, so I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, obviously, we do have a do have a rocket on it if uh, if everything else fails. I think I will do is I will take a full cover. That's affirmative. Full cover and for some reason I don't see it's great. Headed there now. Okay. So we need to dodge another 35 percenter here sadly. And of course, it's the sniper. That's that's why that's why like the full cover is not cover. You you need to hunger down. And also, why is this last alien not running away? Like, what is what is the deal? Why are you not running away? Also, why are, why are we not getting aliens? Other packs activated at all. I'm having a grenade kill on this guy, so I'm just trying these shots to uh if we could uh, if we could kill it otherwise. It just couldn't give me that one more dodge. Or miss. Well, we just used four grenades in killing um three aliens, and it was the first pack, and we lost the sniper. I don't know. Should should just hunger down and let the mind merge. It's a, you, just, you, you just should do that. Uh, I guess I guess I'll still play this. I just I just hate to lose the sniper. Where the hell are all the all the rest of the aliens? What is what is happening? There was the one there was the one soldier I didn't want to lose on this one. <laughs> and we lose them. So there is uh, oh that's a uh, zero percenter for some reason. Zero percenter because you can't step. I don't know why it's zero percenter. Okay, there we have a triple kill. So we'll be a little bit aggressive. Trying to get additional kills. Wait, I'm on the move. Well, almost. guys came from here the last last packs are probably in the back I don't want to I don't want to be next to the gas gas things begun even uh, 
even um, what is called random fire can uh, can hit us. I will take overwatches instead of reload because it looks like the aliens are just running to us. Okay, so coming from there. Yep, again. Okay. Where are your grenades and rockets when you need them the most? Well, that's a lot of mind merge coming our way. Uh, if we go here, we are flankable. There. It's kind of it's kind of not not great in any way. Uh, I'm thinking I will just go a long way, long way into a flank from this side, and uh, get like a flanking shots on, uh, flanking shots on them from the other side. But uh, ideally, I would. Mm. I think the indestructible cover there is the best That's I can do right now. For. You are a little bit trickier, so I think you would have to. Yeah, would keep these guys here as baits. Would have a flanking shot. Okay. This this will never be destroyed. This will give. It will not give flanking shots on those guys. Here I could move and move and help you. If I go here, I think they can flank you next turn. In here they should not be able to do that. So. Let's reload you this turn. You are the one they see, so you hunker down. Okay, what's with the no mind merges thing? The six of you, there should be three mind merges. Taking a zero percent shot. That's not gonna that's not gonna work. Single mind merge. Okay. Sure. There, completely into open if I go in the right position. I think I'll be able to shoot from this side. There might be so many movement, there might be someone on overwatch, but uh, it is it is what it is. Yeah. Of course. Of course you of course you put that on fire now. When I have uh when I have a sixty percent chance for the for the double kill. That is great. That is beautiful. Which means you can flank me from this side probably. This 
pretty, pretty bad. Pretty bad. They might be pushing for you. Like, they might, like, come here next. So I think it might be better for you to move away. How how did you have moves to be on Overwatch? Sure. Of course you did. Of course you did. Location confirmed. This is not really good. This is kind of preventing them from uh, Okay, this is good. Health cover man doing mind merge, but let's hope our luck lasts with 35% uh, shots here. There's just a lot of shots coming out. Oh, that's ballsy. That might be bad. That's... Uh, that's probably a 50%er with the range bonus. was so lucky of them. Missed shot. Missed shot hitting that one. Moving. No longer a threat. This we are hitting our 60 percenters as well. Okay. You. I'm just uh, I'm just so so spread out and uh, and not hunkered down in this full okay not hunkered down in these full covers will just eventually be be hit. to somehow, somehow get to this guy. Aliens are kind of smart in, uh, we have, uh, we have this, we have this one being flanked from, uh, from both sides. They are doing, they are doing great things with their, uh, with their movements. And uh, if I move, I will be overwatched. If I stay, I will be flanked from that side. Very smart. Very smart. So let's dash. And uh, hope we dodge the Overwatch. We have dodged quite many of these, so I think this will eventually be hit hitting us. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I played this particularly well from the start. So now you mind merge from there, which means I should have a shot at the mind merger from full cover. Unless this gets in the way, which it might. Fuck. It is right there, it's like half a dial. Half a dial I don't see. That's a great hiding place. Ready 
So that guy could have been on Overwatch as well, but... This is uh, this is the worst thing that can happen to us, like activating activating two packs from max distance and then the aliens running. Oh hi! What the fuck was that move? The worst thing that can happen that aliens activate like so far away from us. We already sh already down one man, and then they. I don't have a cover to run to and shoot that one. Unless I see them from here, which is probably flanked by the guy in here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Interesting they kept on mind merging with that one. No mind merges. Two guys are here. I have I have lost count long ago. Lost count long ago how many are left. So this one is watching this this side. Uh, if I go for a kill, one of them lives because they are not mind merged. If I run back here, I think I think that one will get a shot on me. It's running running out of space and running out of running out of moves. my chance with this one. Okay, the mind merge is possibly good news. If only I was a little bit quicker, I could run to this guy. I have I have lost count. I have lost count. I think st I think we still have the guy coming from this side. We have it somewhere in here. So I still can't do much about this guy. Six activated. One killed there. Have we killed anyone any more than that? That was mind merge skill, so it killed two. So one, two, three, and there's the fourth one in here still. 
Maybe it's this one. Maybe it ran back. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe there is more. This needs to do four damage or we are dead. I have to, I have to be aggressive. Uh, they might be shot in the back.